Hi, my name is Dana Lorenz and I'm a senior at the University of Hartford and this is Biomedical Engineering. Biomedical Engineering is basically the crossover between engineering and medicine to help the physicians and other medical people understand how the body works from an engineering standpoint because the body is an engineering structure. It is built of beams, which are the bones, pivot joints, which are your various joints, pistons, which are your muscles, wires, which connect that to everything else, a whopping great pump, which is the heart, and a piping system, and then some filters. There are three options, standard, electrical, and pre-med. A standard option, which is good for most people, it involves a variety of areas of biomedical engineering, it gives you a very good base to do basically anything you'd like. If you are much more interested in the electrical equipment side of things, there is an option that has you take a few more electrical engineering courses. There are other options if for, very, for specialties. Specifically, if you're interested in the pre-health professions, you want to become a physician or a dentist or something of that nature, there are certain courses you need to take for those and there's a, an option in the program to help you do that. There are a, a variety of things that are, uh, that are unique to our program. I worked with the Connecticut Children's Medical Center and I was working with collegiate baseball pitchers and figuring out a method to determine a correct and incorrect way of basically throwing pitches to minimize the torque you'd put on your elbow. I'm working on a portable force plate sensor with the Connecticut Children's Medical Center and it's to help um, evaluate people with concussions to determine like do you have a concussion and to track their progression as they recover from the concussion. Engineers in general and biomedical engineers in specific are usually highly thought upon by the medical schools because of the knowledge that you have and the sort of work that you do. This is not an easy program. Engineering isn't, isn't particularly easy and medical schools will see that and understand that uh, the people who have gone through that certainly uh, have a leg up on being able to uh, do the material. I think I was very fortunate to come to school here in engineering, mechanical, uh, because it did two things. One, it gave me the tools to do what I wanted to do and also to become an entrepreneur. And it gave me the uh, courage also to do it. To me, it's a fun area because it's an area that's never going to end. It's not like an area that, okay, once we've solved this problem, we're done. The number of problems in the biomedical field are infinite and the improvements, we have nothing at this point that is perfect and I'm not sure we will ever will. So the uh, life expectancy for somebody in the field as far as a job security is unlimited. Mm -hmm.